Hi, this is Shad Reyes, uh, CVI 2019, Denver, Colorado. With me is uh, Michael Migueli. He is an inter a cardiology fellow at Minneapolis Heart Institute. He published recently a very interesting uh, paper at CERC Intervention. The paper was focused on uh, CTO therapy, uh, radial versus femoral. Welcome, Michael. Thank you, Shady. It's a pleasure to be with you here so today. So congrats for the paper. Thank you so much. Uh, so what inspired you to come up with this question? So uh, there has been a lot of debates about uh, using radial and femoral axis and uh, STEMIs, ACS and all that. It's been less studied in CTO and especially with the increasing use of CTO and as you know, Minneapolis Heart is a large CTO center. We wanted to investigate more if the radial has the same advantages in CTO interventions, this, the same as it was found in STEMIs and ACS and all that. And um, the, just for the audience, it was a meta-analysis done for uh, randomized studies as well as retrospective studies. Well, unfortunately, there are no randomized studies in using radial versus femoral in, uh, in CTO. Hopefully, we can see one soon. But all the studies that were done were observational, so we did a meta-analysis on using all the nine observational studies done on that topic. We had about uh, more than 10,000 patients, 10,500 patients, and I guess that gave us some power to be able to conclude what we concluded. And to walk us through the, the results. So uh, in the 10,500 patients, we of course found some discrepancies in their baseline characteristics. So patients who had radial axis had less complex lesions, had less GCTO score, However, they had, both groups had the same technical success. And of course, we found with the radial group, we found less exercise complications, less bleeding, and uh, overall, no difference in the safety. Right. In terms of if the patient has dual access, so the, in these studies, they had dual access through radial or radial femoral? That's a perfect question. So uh, there are a lot of heterogeneity in the studies. So what we did is we used people who had dual access and had any radial access in both arm in both arms, either radial, radial, radial femoral, we assigned them to the radial group initially. Mm -hmm. And then we did an, a different analysis using the pure studies radial. that use pure radial, radial versus femoral only. And then we found the same results. Results did not change. Right. And uh, so in terms of femoral compared to pure radial, can yeah. you walk us through the results in terms it of was, procedure success and all that? It was actually the same results. They had both had the same technical success. They both, uh, the radial axis in that group still had lower uh, incidence of vascular complications, exercise complications, and major bleeding. Right. So, any, any of the cases has mechanical support needed? Uh, it was not reported consistently, so uh, they did not report that. And of course, if we had to use mechanical success, it had to be through femoral. Right, right. Yeah. Um, so what is your message then? It sounds like with the hashtag for Twitter Radial First, we should continue to do that. So we have STEMI and STEMI, stable angina, and now we have CTO. And now we have CTO. So yeah, of course, Radial First is a, it's a good day for uh, good times for Radial First. Right to be used and everything, and invading the CTO world is great. Now more ra biradials are being used, and I think it is very safe, but it has to be used in select patients, All because right. the more complex lesions, it might not be ideal, right. and we don't have studies on those patients. So it sounds, since you have the C you are a CTO center, a complex coronary intervention center, you have already an idea of these angiograms, the anatomy of the coronaries, so you can pre-plan all this, so you can say either this is doable through the radial or not, or probably try radial first. If it didn't, if it didn't work, then you can. Cross exactly, over to that's femoral. actually yeah, that's our approach. You always try to start with radial unless it's a very complex lesion. All right, well, it sounds great. This is very uh, interesting study. I encourage everybody to read it. It's published in the CERC intervention. Uh, Michael Magelli was the first author. Please uh, watch this video and others on CVI YouTube channel. This is Shady Reyes from Denver, Colorado. Thank you, Michael. Thank you so much. Thanks, Shady.